Locked in out of Group A. And Dale McDowell was third quick, so he is the pole sitter for heat number one. As they get them grouped up two by two, double file, just like Noah took the animals on the arc. McDowell and Hyatt will bring them off turn number four and smash a loud pedal. Green flag waves, and here we go. They'll dive them off into turn number one. Who's it going to be? McDowell, he's out in front. Hyatt's going to be second. He'll look to the high side. They may have made some contact. McDowell gets away. Hyatt's going to be in second. Morrow slips through into third. And Morrow now getting some pressure off of turn number four from the seven of Ricky Wise. Michael Page going to be fifth here on the opening lap. McDowell. Looks like the, he's going to choose the high side. So we had some conversation earlier. Would they get up on the cushion or would they ride around the bottom where it's nice and smooth and everybody up on the cushion up front so far? McDowell showing away. Hyatt in second. Morrow is third. Wise fourth. Douglas fifth. David Payne is sixth. Shane Tankersley seventh. Joey Standridge in the 56th. The final car in a transfer spot right now. He rides in eighth. And we got caution. Caution flag is out. He has Todd Morrow's machine has slowed up in turn number four, and it looks like he may have a possible, for a moment I thought he may have suspension damage on the right front, but everything looks to be up. But he, at that last uke tire at the exit of turn number four, they'll pull the trigger on him, and here we go. Three laps in the four. Is McDowell going to lead the way? High at second. Wise third. Page tried to dive bomb under. Wise momentarily not able to make a move. Is a front four. Work off turn four. Come down Main Street here, boys. Speedway with four in the books. One lap shy of the halfway point in a heat race number one. Page gets a good run off. Two down the back straight away. He'll close in on Wise. That's a battle for the third spot as they race into turn three. Meanwhile, up front. Dale McDowell continues to lead the way. Jason Hyatt rides in the bridesmaid spot. He is in second, Weiss third, Page fourth, Payne is fifth, and it's Tankersley, Brown, and Standridge now in the eighth and final transfer spot. As we'll have four to go this time by. He has David Payne in the number eight. Closes in on fourth place, running Michael Page. Is that pair exits turn number two? Down the back straightaway with the front three of McDowell, Hyatt, and Wise have uh, put just a little bit of distance on themselves in that battle for the fourth position. Payne looking beneath Page again now off of turn number two. Not able to make the move. The high side has got the momentum. It's where you want to be here in these heat races up to this point. McDowell starting to get some pressure from Hyatt, but Hyatt slips a bit off turn two, but that lets Wise close in on him as we get set to come to the white flag here off turn number four. One lap to settle it in heat race number one. McDowell leads them down the back straightaway. They may encounter the slower car of Craig Greer before it's finished. Craig Greer going to stay on the bottom off of turn number four. Dale McDowell will be the winner of heat number one. Jason Hyatt will finish in second. Third will be Ricky Wise. Fourth will go to Michael Douglas. Fifth will be David Payne. Sixth, Shane Tankersley. Seventh. Looks to be the 10 of Jimmy Brown, and the eighth and final transfer spot will be the 56 of Joey Standridge. Now we'll try it. Billy Ogle Jr. and Forrest Gifford, volunteer state drivers on the front row. Green flag waves, and here we go. Billy Ogle Jr. wins the drag race in a turn number one, but here comes the 29 of Jason Welch, and he'll shoot through between cars in a second. Riley Hickman with a good move. He's going to grab the third spot from Shannon Buckingham in a turn number three. Hickman on the high side. Buckingham will fall back into fourth as the Forrest Gifford in the deuce battles with the 38 of Jamie Oliver. That is for the fifth position off two down the back straight away, but give the fifth spot to give to Forrest Gifford. Meanwhile, up front, the 201 of Billy Ogle Jr. shows the way. Welsh and jumps the cushion. They get bottled up behind him. Buckingham goes to the edge of the infield. He's going to go to third. The two of uh, Forrest Gifford goes to fourth. And welsh has got problems on the number 29. Slowing on the back straightaway. And now we got caution. Caution is out as Jason Welsh's machine. He jumped the berm. Exiting turn number four. I don't know if he made contact with the outside retaining wall. Everyone done a great job to avoid contact behind him. No, green is coming back out. Here we go. Billy Ogle Jr. bring him back to green. Riley Hickman 
Rides in second, Shannon Buckingham third as they race off two down the back straight away. Will be one lap shy of the midpoint this time by Billy Ogle Jr. out in front. Almost three wide back there for Ford momentarily. Jamie Oliver on a move around Robbie Moses, who's also been passed by Forrest Gifford there. Good battle back there for four, fifth, and six as they race off turn two. Down the back straightaway, Gifford has it, and Oliver trying to get the fifth, fifth position wrestled away from Buckingham. And uh, Oliver, he will get by Gifford and go to position number four now as they race off turn two down the back straightaway. Best battle on a racetrack had been right there. Meanwhile, back up front, Billy Ogle Jr. continues to show the way with six laps on the Boyd scoreboard. Less than four to go now as Ogle works off turn two down the back straightaway and sets that Longhorn chassis down into turn number three. The Van Over Racing Longhorn showing away here out in front in this one with three to go. Riley Hickman rides in second. Shannon Buckingham is third. Jamie Oliver fourth. Robbie Moses fifth. Forrest Gifford is sixth. Caleb Ashby is seventh. And we'll have two laps remaining this time by off of turn number four for race leader Billy Ogle Jr. As the top side it has been the dominant area on the racing surface so far here in heat race competition. Ogle will bring that machine off turn number four to the white flag. One lap to go in heat race number two. Ogle works off turn two down the back straightaway for the final time. Sets that machine down in turn three. Puts it back up on the bars off four. Knoxville, Tennessee's Billy Ogle Jr. will be the winner of heat two. Riley Hickman will come home in the second position. Shannon Buckingham will finish in third. Jimmy Oliver will come home fourth. Robbie Moses fifth. And then it'll be Forrest Gifford and Caleb Ashby.